Get ready for a built from scratch RV so custom, it's the only one like it on the planet. Try to buy the very best and put them together and see them just perform. Packing some amazing surprises under the skin, this high-end beauty performs like nobody's business. It really would be easier to list the things that are not extreme about a Newell. The next phase in the evolution of the RV nation is about to begin. Strap in and hang on. Americans love the open road, and RVing has been an essential part of the American experience for over 100 years. From the earliest auto camper to the latest mega RVs, each generation adds fuel to the fire that drives the lifestyle, sparks innovation, and ignites the passion of the RV nation. Miami, Oklahoma will never be mistaken for Miami, Florida. No sand and shore here. But what it does have is a custom RV builder who's giving all the other RVs a run for their money. With a 15,000 square foot facility and a workforce of more than 200 strong. The truly unique thing is that we start from scratch. We build our own chassis, optimize everything most powerful engines that we can buy, and the most sophisticated suspension systems, things that go into BMWs and Bentleys up through, obviously, a 50,000-pound vehicle like we have. Much of the company's success can be attributed to its visionary founder, who in his short tenure managed to have a profound impact on the mobile home industry, pioneering many of the features that are standard in today's RVs. Mr. Newell founded the company in 1967 ran it for six or seven years. He was looking for ways to build a better motorhome. It was real innovative. Put the first rear engine diesel in coaches in 1971, 10 or 15 years before the rest of the industry. He laid the foundation. This coach is special to us. We believe this is one of the first five coaches finished here in Miami, Oklahoma. This is very similar to the coach that LK Newell purchased before he decided he wanted to get into motorhome business. The team's working on a promotional show coach that will be used to market their brand and represent the future direction of the company. The last time we built a show coach, we had such dark colors, and I decided to just go light this time. Of course, we had to do the ultra wood because it's gorgeous. And then in the bedroom, I thought, oh, we just need a, a print that pops. Um, so that's going to be on the bed. And you'll see that right when you come in the front of the yeah. coach, because you'll, you'll be able to see the bed. Oh, great. It won't look like anything on the road today. It'll be uh, distinguishable as being a new old coach. The company's 1,469th RV will be a show coach with four slide outs, a Porsche designed nose and tail, and a bedroom with a unique center island bed in front of the master bath. It's one of only 24 new coaches the company will produce this year, with each build taking six months to complete. Each coach is outfitted with one of these 650 horsepower turbo diesel engines. This massive powerhouse can propel these enormous coaches from 0 to 60 in under 29 seconds. Pretty fast for a vehicle weighing over 30 tons. Try to buy the very best and put them together and see them just perform. And the latest build begins right here on the production line, where each coach goes through 11 precisely timed stations before making its way to the client. It's a custom product from stage one. The determination of the length of the coach, where the entry door will be, the bay spacings or storage bays underneath can all be customized. We are currently at the weld stage, which is the very first of 11 stations in the production of a Newell coach. The coach will remain in the weld stage for 84 working hours, just over two weeks. And what's the story with the ultra-specific time frame? We have about 24 coaches a year that we're able to find customers for. If you'll take a calendar, remove the weekends and holidays, and look at how many hours are given in a certain window of time for 24 coaches, it's 84 hours. Coming up, we'll ride along the production line as it progresses from station to station and a new show coach is born and we'll learn the answer to the question on everyone's mind. How in the world could this be worth $1.6 million? Don't go away.
The first commercially sold RV was purchased in what year? 1910, 1918, 1929, or 1935? We'll have the answer when RV Nation continues. The first commercially sold RV was purchased in what year? The answer? A company called Trailer Works in Los Angeles, California, sold their first RV in 1910. Welcome back to RV Nation. At a huge facility in Miami, Oklahoma, a distinctive new RV is making its way through 11 stages of custom construction. The centerpiece will be a bedroom with a unique center island bed. Newell Coach is the only company that builds the coach from the ground up, custom, and sells factory direct. Those three characteristics together make us unique. And it all begins at station one with a welding frame. Like, uh, being I'm the first one that starts a coach, I'm accountable to everybody that works at Newell Coach. <laughs> One of the ways the company stays at the front of the pack is by adopting the latest industry technologies as they become available. Somebody comes in to me this afternoon and says, look at what we can do. You know, we might be doing it tomorrow. And their newly implemented ZF active suspension system will be featured on the current build. Newell Coach has cooperated with ZF, a German manufacturer of suspension components, and we actually have a 37-foot turning radius even on a 45-foot coach. Our customers are able to maneuver in areas that a 45-foot coach is, uh, is not expected to be able to maneuver. Computers read what the coach is doing, and it firms up when it should firm up. It softens up when it can, so you get a better ride and phenomenally better handling. Shortly, the coach will head to the second of 11 stations for two more weeks of work making sure to keep within the ultra-precise time frame. Well, this is a front entry coach. If you'll notice, every seam on this chassis is sealed. All right, we just finished it up here in the weld shop, so we're gonna roll it over to the paint shop, and they're gonna primer it, and then it'll come out of primer, and it'll come into parts assembly, which will be the next step in the process. The first stage of construction for the custom coach, chassis fabrication is now complete. We are at what we call parts assembly. We install anything we don't build in-house. Many of those are drivetrain components. It'll be a drivable vehicle when it finishes at parts assembly. We can actually start the engine and drive it through the various stages of production from here on. And it might be interesting to note over a half of the weight, the finished weight of the product is already in place at this stage. And by over half, we're talking 33,000 pounds. After doubling its weight in parts assembly, the coach makes its way to the skin line, where large sections of aluminum are attached to the RV's frame. We are currently at station three, which is what we call the skin line. We're using lighter material than what we used at the chassis stage. Here is a coil of aluminum. It allows us to unroll one continuous piece of metal for the roof, so we don't have any seams that might make it susceptible to leaks at the roof. After putting the roof metal on, we also have side skin that is put on in sheets. Very similar aircraft type industry. The rattling of bolts and screws is one of the main causes of cabin noise in an RV. That's something they'd hope to minimize when applying the aluminum sheets. The team uses aircraft grade adhesives to attach the aluminum, which creates an airtight unbreakable bond that makes even the most extreme weather conditions a non-issue, which is of the utmost importance considering what's going on inside this coach. Every single RV is built to order. There are several basic floor plans available, most featuring slide outs and full kitchens. Clients are encouraged to mix and match to create whatever they please. You can see the flat screen television raised from the back side of the desk. This is set up for viewing from the sofa, which also makes a bed. You take someone who's completely uninitiated and they look at this and they say, how in the world could this be worth $1.6 million? Our customer typically doesn't walk in the door and this is the first RV he's ever seen. He's, he's normally been in motorhomes for several years. It started with a smaller motorhome and, and built up. And it's a hobby for them and they take it very seriously. Coming up, we'll find out why all slide-outs are not created equal. 
and a newel will have a flat floor whether the room's extended or retracted. Which Hollywood power couple has a vintage Airstream they call Love Sub? Is it Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, Sean Penn and Charlize Theron, or Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie? We'll find out when RV Nation returns. So which Hollywood power couple has a vintage Airstream they call Love Sub? The answer, D. Superstar Oscar winners Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie have a vintage Airstream 245 that Brad purchased before he met Angelina. In Miami, Oklahoma, a new luxury show coach is moving through 11 stages of production on a very precise timeline. So far, everything's been going according to plan. In the original build meeting, we made numerous decisions about what options 1469 would have. No two new coaches are alike. Each one is unique. The outside has been wrapped in aluminum and capped with a Porsche design nose and tail. Its goal is to be the ultimate in mobile luxury. After completing station three, which is what we call the skin line, we go on to this foam room, which is station four. It'll spend about 10 hours in foam where we apply the foam insulation in the walls and ceiling of the inside of the shell. But this coach is presently inside the foam room, kind of the building within a building. Once we complete that, we move on to the next station where we install wood on the inside. While they get the walls up in this coach, let's turn our attention to the custom slide-out unit. Most Class A RV manufacturers build slide-outs to expand the living area when the RV is parked. Offering as many as four slide-outs can add 145 square feet to the interior. That's the largest in its class. In a newel, we'll have a flat floor whether the room's extended or retracted. The electric motor we see here will actually operate the raise lower function of the floor in the slide out room. The flush floor is a unique feature. Most RVs require a small step between the main hallway and the slide out. It's a minor design issue that can limit the possibilities of a floor plan. And there's another advantage too. In the motorhome industry, most of the slide out rooms are a bit of a challenge because motorhome manufacturers depend upon the structural integrity of the body. And when a big opening is cut out of that body for a slide out room, it hinders that integrity. But at Newell, we build the strength of the chassis below the slide out room. So we're able to put an opening in the body without hurting the structural integrity of the chassis. Another advantage of us building a product for this purpose rather than trying to convert a product that was originally designed for a different purpose. The latest luxury mansion is nearing the end of the production line. This 45-foot behemoth will feature a walk-around bed, full automation, and a 650-horsepower engine, just to name a few of the countless high-end touches. The customizable aspects of this company's RVs definitely come into play at this stage of the build. You could opt for a marble shower enclosure for about $4,500, or go for the $44,000 maple cabinets. While the coach is in the booth, the interior department is hard at work getting everything prepped for installation. We're in the upholstery department now. This is where we do much of the interior upholstery for the coaches. Customers and clientele are able to select which upholstery material they want on virtually every piece of furniture and upholstered item inside the coach. We make pillow shams, plus little pillows in the front. Sometimes we'll make a throw to go on the bed, give it a little character, a little poof. Well, this is a phantom table. It's a, kind of a computer desk, file cabinet. TV uh, comes up out of it, back down. And then I put in mirrors on the ceilings, and it, uh, it gets kind of stressful sometimes making the deadline. This is actually the countertop for 1469 that'll go in the galley area. You can see the plumbers have put a high quality faucet in place and also the sandwich material so that you can see contrasting material around the sink. Happens to be a stainless sink in this coach. The company's RVs often feature elaborate paint schemes and their facility features four of these 60 foot long paint booths. A typical coach requires 20 gallons of paint sprayed on in 12 coats. 
before Coach 1469 heads off to the showroom. They must first simulate a torrential downpour to check for any leaks. Coming up, after 11 stages of production, it's finally time to see what makes this extravagant show coach a showstopper. It really would be easier to list the things that are not extreme about a newel. You won't want to miss this. Which U.S. Supreme Court justice was quoted as saying, being an RVer helps me do my job better? Was it Elena Kagan, John G. Roberts Jr., Sonia Sotomayor, or Clarence Thomas? We'll find out when RV Nation returns. So, which U.S. Supreme Court justice was quoted as saying, being an RVer helps me do my job better? Clarence Thomas, who along with his wife Ginny, has traveled to over 27 states since purchasing their first RV in 1999. With a painstaking 11-stage assembly line in its rearview mirror, this one-of-a-kind show coach is ready for a tour and a test drive. The day's arrived. 1469 is finally complete. We're ready to take it on its first road test. Come on in. Let's go. Thanks to full customization, there's never been an RV exactly like this one. Fortunately, the amount of craftsmanship that we have at Newell Coach gives us the ability to do many non-standard things. There are a lot of challenges in having entirely new shapes, new sizes, new hardware, but at Newell, that's what we cater to, and that's what we're good at doing, building a custom product that fits the customer's needs. A Newell coach is an extreme RV in many, many ways. It really would be easier to list the things that are not extreme about a Newell. The fully integrated slide-outs add 145 square feet to the coach, which allows for ample storage and a full island bed. At the head of the bed, we've got a control panel that gives us the ability to lift the TV, lift the bed, control all of the fans, lights, window shades, as well as the electric awnings on the outside of the window. We have full control panel here for our thermostat controls. On this screen, there's even a camera mode where we can view who is at the front door. The walk-around bed is one that is unique in many ways. It takes a special construction technique to even have the ability to do that. This is an extreme RV in that it has an extreme amount of storage. All of the doors up above have shelves that are adjustable with storage above. And below, we've got drawers lining both sides. There are actually 42 drawers in this bedroom. In the rear suite, we're in the bathroom here, a large shower with the glass en enclosure on this side, decorative tile on the inside of the shower. Another extreme feature of, of this floor plan is the ability to close a, a door with the touch of a switch. Touches, both big and small, really separate this coach from the pack. This particular shade style is also a blind. This coffee pot is actually plumbed into the water system. So we don't have to add water when we make coffee. We've even created a cover that holds the stemware in place while en route. We can put a cover over the top that locks it in place so it won't move. Considering the space limitations, the RV is packed with features within features, maximizing space and utility through design. The solid surface on the top, the same edge treatment that we used on the solid surface material of the countertops and tables, but when it's removed, you have a soft footstool or ottoman and then that can be lifted to access storage space inside. Air mattresses have been supplied for the fold-out couches. And of course, there are entertainment options. The audio-video system in the Newell oftentimes includes the latest technology. So surround sound systems and Blu-ray and 3D television are pretty common. There's also another feature that makes the Newell pretty extreme in that we have two satellite dishes on the roof. The second dish allows for HD viewing while on the road. And once you've reached your destination, you can relax under the massive awnings. These storage bays go all the way to the passenger side of the coach and can be extended from this direction as well as the other direction. 
sure this baby's been loaded with cool features. But it doesn't skimp on performance either. Today, we have features in the Newell coach that aren't in other motorhomes, including CDC suspension, which we call stable ride, computerized shock absorbers, giving data back to a computer of everything that takes place on the road and making immediate adjustments. We have rear steer, so the back axle on the motorhome actually turns when we're making a sharp turn at slow speeds to decrease the turning radius. At Newell, we're able to do more in customization than anyone else because we build so much right here in-house. Boasting both show and go, innovative coaches like this one continue to drive the passion of the RV Nation.